MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's the second game of this ALCS between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in game two. Well, in a seven game series, winning game one on the road is great, but it doesn't mean all that much if you can't back it up and win game two. A win here really puts them in a commanding position, but if they split these first two games, it basically becomes a best of a five game series starting all over again from scratch. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play by play is coming up. Next. Griffin Canning is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And now, Wander Franco. And we are set for baseball Maybe here this the evening. The Wander Franco. Here's the first pitch to him. And the first pitch of the night here is taken for ball one, and we're underway in Anaheim. First pitch, 7 0 5. 1 0 count, here it is. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Game time temperature tonight 62 degrees but should drop into the 50s before we're done. A one and one count here's the pitch. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He can't get there as it falls in. At the plate now, Robert Poisson. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Man at second with one down, and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. One out and a runner on second base. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Sanchez onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Here's Randy Arozarena. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Come set the 0 1. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. 
You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ray's strand just the one. And now the Angels get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Tyler Glasnow will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Two words, Matt. High ceiling. This guy has a chance to be one of the most dominant pitchers in all of baseball. Big, tall, strong guy with a big power arm and a nasty hammer curveball. If he's throwing strikes with his fastball and his curveball, he's nearly impossible to hit. Stepping up is Yomer Sanchez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch as he'll take a look at ball one. Now the 1 0 is in there for strike one. Fouled away. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Sanchez is retired, and there's one away. And now in the box, Peter Doby. He's set and the pitch. Ball. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. A 2 0 ball count to the Angels left fielder. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. One out, nobody on. Three and two, full count. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. Again, he sends it out of play. Another full count pitch home. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. That is good. The center field. Mark. Wow. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now here's the pitch. Ball. One ball, no strike. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Now the 2-0. Hit hard on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Angels go down 1-2-3. We are still scoreless.
New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Mike Brasso. The first baseman, Mike Brasso. And now the first pitch. Ball. One oh. The one oh home. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two balls and a strike to the Rays first baseman. Hey boys you talking about getting your A swing off right here. That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. We're taken strike two called and it's even at two and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. In now, Donovan Casey. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Takes a pass and misses, that's strike two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. No score here as we play inning number two. Line to the right side. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back and drive it the other way. Here's a look over to first in the dirt and oh he can't quite dig it out. At the plate Dylan Moore pitch misses low the throw down and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. That's pretty savvy base running right. A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Runner at second here with one man out. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Good sharp slider there, and he couldn't catch up to it. Two and one now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Sanchez is under it, two gone. And with two away let's check in with our up to the minute playoff bracket and you can see our series at 1 0 as things are starting to heat up here as we get later into October. Now to the plate here is Will Benson runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Joey Gallo. The right fielder. 
Joey. Here's the first pitch. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile Matty of a fit. fastball. Even Not if you recognize the breaking Boy, ball yeah. out of the pitcher's hand, it's Whoa, so hard yeah. for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Brendan Rodgers bats next Whoa. as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Fouled off. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to that record the out. The designated hitter. And at the plate is Drew Waters. First pitch on its way. He swings and grounds it to short. Reined in. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. Will move to the third with no score. Now with the plate is Francisco Mejia. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's gone just two for 13. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Now the 2 0. Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. That brings up Wander Franco. He singled to open up the ball game. Hey, second time around, let's see if this guy goes up and looks for the fastball. He got a fastball in his first at bat and didn't miss it. From the stretch, runners off for second. Offered and it missed. Here's the throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Very well could have been a hit and run attempt there. But you kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. Third inning, no score to this point. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. 
trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. So now to the plate, Robert Poisson. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The windup and the 0 1. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And leading up for the Angels, the catcher, number seven. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. Two hits in seven tries. Popped him up. Boom. Has room in foul territory. One down. That is it. Digging in will be Cody Hosey. First pitch of the AB on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Now to the plate, Conrad Coleman. He's set, here it comes. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. That's inside. 2 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2 0. Yeah. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless.
all set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. The old adage pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. First pitch on the way. No balls and a strike to count. This guy's been really on point so far but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four five and six right here. Check swing but he held up in time ball one. Hey this guy's nasty on the mound and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth. So next to hit is Randy Rosarena comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering. Now a fastball a bit too low here it's ball one. Count even now at one and one. And he misses two and one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Also digging in at the plate and he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second and he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Next up Donovan Casey he singled first time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heater. Strike two. Pitch is way outside and he can't even get a glove on it. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. One and two count. Here's the pitch. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. No score at this point, but a two out hit could get a runner in from third. Hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. One left for Tampa. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The second baseman, Yolmer.
the pitch. Lays off 1 and 0. Here's a fastball low and he's behind 2 and 0. Outside 3 and 0 now. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. The 3 0. Oh. Three ball. One strike. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. The 3 2 one more time. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And that's the first out. Next to hit is Peter Doby, grounded out in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. Yep. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he got him. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First pitch of the A.B. on its way as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Swing and a ball hit high in the air deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry and he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out. So next to bat will be Will Benson flew out last time up. Now here's the first offering. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. No runs, three hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. To two and two now. Tough 
curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order and we just saw three in a row and he takes ball three so it's a full count now. And this is swung on and missed so it's two up two down to start the fifth. I'll tell you right now this guy has a shutout going and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Standing in now Francisco Mejia. Oh and this ball is absolutely blasted high and deep and that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run. A solo shot down the line in right as the Rays move out on top one to nothing. There's still some game left to be played but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Into the box Wander Franco. A ball and no strikes. He's one for two in this one. Now this pitch sails up and in and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. Three and oh now. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. And he's going to make the catch. Oh, and he paid the price for it, too, as he crashes into the wall. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler, if ever there was one. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning and around for them. For the Angels, good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The right fielder. Joey Gallo. From the stretch, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. The 1 0. Oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 and 0. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 and 1. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. The two-two changeup taken for ball three, well below the zone. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Oh, and they pulled a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. So one out and nobody aboard, and that'll bring up Brendan Rodgers.
first pitch on the way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. That's his first base hit making one for two now. Well, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside now, half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D. Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Into the box now, Drew Waters. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Has a look, now the pitch. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Rogers leads off first with one away. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Set. Here's the three and two. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll see if they can get something going here. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third not enough to qualify for the victory as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. Miguel Lentigua takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Reese McGuire will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Casey is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now so here is Cody Hosey. A base Cody. knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Cody. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. 4 1. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1 0. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here's the 2 0. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it 2 and 1 instead. On the stretch. Two and two. A shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. And he struck him out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning. Angels strand a couple. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score.
into the box. Robert Poisson. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. First pitch on its way. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. That brings up Alec Bohm. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Now batting, the center fielder, Randy So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Randy Rosarena. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch or he's going to start getting hurt. Here's the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One out and a runner on second base. Rounded slowly to the left side. Rogers scoops it up. And that's the second out. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth. And that'll bring up Mike Brasso. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Sanchez onto the grass. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ray's strand just the one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the rookie first baseman, Conrad Colvin. Now here's the pitch. Action in the Rays pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. The 1 0 is taken strike one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Here comes the one-two. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Finally a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs but there he is at second base. 
A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Stepping in now, Yomer Sanchez. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Colvin leads off second with nobody out. Popped him up. Bohm is over and he puts it away for the first down. Cody Reed comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Peter Doby will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. He's set. Here it comes. From the stretch. Down the third baseline. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. At the plate, Mike Trout, as the sinker to him, finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Counts even to okay. Trout, one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The set and the 2-1. and one. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Now on three and two as a pitcher you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And whoa awfully close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Number 13, Joey. So stepping Gallo. in is Joey Gallo, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. The 2-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. 2-1. Hey, it's tough when your team is being 
held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Here's the 2-1. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters, but he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Digging in next, Brendan Rodgers, the potential tying run for him at third base. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Bases are loaded here, two down. Lays off for a ball, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The set and the two one. This is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Game two coverage rolls on after this. Graham Adams is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Now to bat, Donovan Casey. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Just short, hit hard. And that's through into left, so a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously yeah, one of them. Another base hit leading yeah. off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. So now to the plate, Dylan Moore, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. You like the modern style of baseball, here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in. Casey gets his lead at first, nobody out. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Now back. The right field. Will. And stepping in, Will Benson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, 
this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. the belt kicks and deals he's fallen behind now three and one every base runner in a close game like this really matters so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike it's funny that pitch I can picture being in the box that pitch looks so good to hit and why does no one ever get to it a good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away The next three two. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Francisco Mejia will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. And that's in there for his strike one and one. One and two counts of the Rays catcher. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Here now the 2 2 it is laid off and the count runs full. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to 3 and 2. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a two run homer down the line in right field his second of the game as the Rays have opened up a three nothing lead. Well he's obviously very comfortable in the spotlight here in the postseason everything is amplified runs mean more and every pitch counts especially when you make a mistake as bad as this one missed his location and he takes it out of here in a heartbeat. Chris Davinsky will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. To the plate now, Wander Franco. Wander Franco. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. A one pitch on its way. And I'm not sure but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0 and 2 now. After that off balance swing right there you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat visualizing hitting a home run. Pulled the string on him strike three swinging up with it McGuire and the throw to first ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, with the traditional Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's now 3-0 Tampa. Oliver Drake gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Leading off the inning, it'll be Drew and Waters. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. First delivery to him as he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0. He's outside for a ball. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Grounded to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Ready now is Reese McGuire. He's popped up in his first plate appearance and flied out last time around. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A.B. and start the line moving again. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the nothing in two pitch and it's fouled away. And he'll try to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. First pitch on its way. Cody Hosey stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Now the pitch. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Throw into second. The tag and they'll get him at second. And with that the side is retired. Angels go down one two three. Still down three nothing. Blake now Robert Poisson as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one he's got a hit in three at bats to this point and a strike to even the count one and one. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was my hats off to him. 
Now the one and one pitch. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. Here comes the one two. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, that and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. In now, Alec Bohm. He'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. Hard hit towards center. Trout is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting the center fielder, Randy Arozarena. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Randy Arozarena. He bounced out last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. A little bit outside. Two and one. High and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder. Still ranging back. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Rays have opened it up even further now. It's four to nothing. Yeah, and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here, but with a four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their closer the rest of the day. Four runs feels awfully good. Stepping in now, Michael Brasso. A ball of no strikes. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. I oh, couldn't catch up with the gas that time. One of my pet peeves in the game. 1 0 2 0 3 1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball. Count even at 2 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And that one yanked just foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. On 
the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's now 4 0 Tampa Bay. Trevor Richards is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading off the inning, it'll be Conrad Coleman, and they could use a spark from him here. He's set and the pitch. Go. Richards is at least partially known for a good changeup, and it's not just any change of speed pitch, it dances all over the place. Now the 1 0. Ball. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. The 2 0 on the way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Casey is there and he'll bring this one in. Next, here is Yomer Sanchez in his career versus this pitcher. Small sample, a perfect one for one. First pitch on its way. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. A Rosarena is there, Doby. two gone. Now it'll be Peter Doby, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. The 0-1 pitch. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Here's the 0-2. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. They're down four nothing. Mike Mayers enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now into the box, Donovan Casey. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Here's the first pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1-1. One, one. Misses. Ball two. Lifted in the air to center field. 
Trout is right there, one down. So now into the box is Dylan Moore. Lifetime in this matchup. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box now, Will Benson, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's the pitch. Fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Fouled away. Payoff pitch home. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now batting. Catcher. Francisco. Francisco Mejia stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. stretch runners on the move for second and this one's in the dirt pitch is low and in the dirt and that's going to allow that runner to steal his way into scoring position here with two away. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two and one after the foul ball there. As a look, now the pitch. Now a swinging bunt. The 2 2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. Sanchez is there. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Scott Alexander takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Wander Franco will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. the belt 
kicks and deals. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Runners at the corners, two men out. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. The two one home. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled off. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Trout has a read on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Rays strand a pair, but they hold a four to nothing lead. So now here is Mike Trout. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Wow. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Mike Trout is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1-0. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Out of here into the visitor's bullpen. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout as they get on the board. It's four to one now. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Peter Fairbanks takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. up the big bat of Joey Gallo as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far and he misses low with it 2 and 0 the last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope it's a good time to challenge here on 2 and 0 especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike and that's in there 2 and 1 four seam heater right down the middle I would have thought he popped the clutch on that pitch this is in the air to left and that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Next up is Brendan Rodgers. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. 
that run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. That's by him for strike one. Gallo stands at second with no outs. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. Now this is a perfect example of why this manager feels so confident going to this beast in the ninth right here. He is throwing absolute thunder right here. Pumped up and looks the part. So he got him swinging. Brendan Rodgers is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Drew Waters. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Runner at second here with one man out. He comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0 and 2. I can't imagine in a hitters meeting today that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. And this one's inside and high, one and two down. Gets a small piece near the plate. That goes foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Here he comes again, one, two. And he fouls this one off. Again a one two. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping in once again is Reese McGuire. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. No, that's a ball. Now low. a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Right side, but it's well foul. Two out here and a runner at second. Up high. Two and one now. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Throw on to first will be in time and the Rays will take a two games to none lead back home for game three as this one is over. Well it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game and it took six here to get the job done but hey they'll do whatever they can to get a W. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Tampa Bay Rays get the win to take a two games to zero series lead. Miguel Lantigua gets the W on the mound. Griffin Canning is settled with the loss after giving up only one earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
The final line score for our ball game tonight.